Every single year, the world consumes over 5.5 million tons of tilapia. That's more than salmon, more than tuna, making tilapia the most widely eaten fish on the planet. But here's the part most people don't know. Nearly 70% of that massive supply comes from China, where fish farming has evolved far beyond traditional ponds. Today, entire armies of tilapia are raised in high-tech systems, powered by artificial intelligence, sensors feeding fish, algorithms controlling water quality, and machines harvesting by the ton. Yet behind this success lies a surprising question. How does one humble freshwater fish, often called the poor man's protein, become a $10 billion global industry? In this video, we'll take you inside the giant tilapia factories of China. From precision breeding to cutting-edge processing lines. Number 1. From brood stock to billions. Every industrial story begins with its foundation, and for tilapia, that foundation is brood stock. These aren't ordinary fish. They are carefully selected, sometimes even genetically engineered, to grow faster, resist disease, and produce more uniform offspring. In China's leading hatcheries, scientists now use selective crossbreeding and even gene editing to create fish that grow nearly 1.8 times faster than traditional strains. A single brood female can produce thousands of eggs in one season. And here's where tilapia reveals one of nature's quirks. The female carries fertilized eggs inside her mouth, a behavior called mouth brooding. This natural instinct protects the eggs from predators, but in industrial farming, it also gives hatchery managers a controlled way to collect and incubate them. Once removed, the eggs are placed into artificial incubators, where temperature, oxygen, and water flow are finely tuned. This controlled start dramatically improves survival rates, cutting early-stage mortality from what might be 30% in the wild down to under 10% in farms. practical example. In Guangdong province, a hatchery using AI-assisted monitoring produced over 200 million fingerlings in a single year, enough to supply entire regions of grow-out farms. This shows how one precise step at the beginning can ripple into billions of fish downstream. Number 2. Smart Farms where AI meets aquaculture. Once the fry leave the nursery, they enter a world that looks less like a pond and more like a high-tech laboratory disguised as water. This is the era of smart farms, where artificial intelligence meets aquaculture. At the core is a simple principle. Fish don't talk, but their environment does. Sensors are placed throughout ponds and recirculating tanks, constantly tracking oxygen levels, temperature, pH, and ammonia. These numbers tell farmers everything they need to know about stress, growth, and survival. Here's how it works in practice. In a commercial farm in Hainan, AI-driven feeding systems use underwater cameras to observe fish behavior. When tilapia stop rising to the surface or begin swimming sluggishly, the algorithm knows it's time to stop feeding. This adjustment alone has cut feed waste by nearly 20%, saving thousands of dollars per farm each season. The technology goes further. Machine learning models can now predict early signs of disease before farmers even notice. By analyzing subtle changes in swimming patterns or appetite, the system reduces antibiotic use by up to 30%. A huge step in both cost efficiency and sustainability. The contrast is striking. A traditional pond might produce one ton of tilapia per acre, but with smart recirculating systems, production can jump to four tons or more, while recycling up to 85% of the water, 
It's farming at industrial scale. Number three, feeding millions. Nutrition, water, and daily care. Raising tilapia at an industrial scale isn't just about tanks and technology. It's about meeting the daily biological needs of millions of living fish. And at the heart of it all, nutrition, water, and care. Each tilapia consumes carefully formulated pellets, a blend of protein, vitamins, and minerals. Unlike carnivorous fish such as salmon or tuna, tilapia thrive on a mostly plant-based diet, which makes them cheaper to raise and far more sustainable. A single farm can dispense over 10 tons of feed in one day. And timing is everything. Smart feeders, guided by underwater cameras, release food only when the fish are actively eating, preventing waste and keeping water clean. But feed is only half the story. Water quality is constantly monitored. Oxygen levels, temperature, and pH must remain within strict ranges. Farmers add lime to stabilize acidity, inject oxygen to reduce stress, and use probiotics to replace antibiotics. The goal? Maintain a balanced ecosystem where fish grow fast without disease. In Guangdong, one high-density farm reported survival rates of over 95% thanks to meticulous daily care routines. The lesson here is simple. Technology may drive efficiency, but biology sets the rules. And when the fish finally reach market size, the real challenge begins. Harvesting millions of tilapia without losing freshness. A process that looks more like a factory operation than a traditional fishery. Number four, harvesting armies of fish from pond to plan. After months of feeding and monitoring, the moment of truth arrives, harvest day. In tilapia farming, this is not a small job. It's a military scale operation. A single large farm may need to collect hundreds of tons of fish in just a few hours to keep freshness intact. On small traditional farms, harvesters still rely on nets. Teams wade into ponds, carefully dragging seine nets to corral thousands of fish at once. It's labor-intensive, and every mistake risks stress or injury to the stock. But in China's industrial farms, the process looks completely different. Specialized harvesting machines can suction up to 12,000 kilograms of tilapia per hour, moving fish gently through water-filled pipes into oxygenated tanks. This system reduces stress, prevents bruising, and preserves meat quality. Timing is critical. Farmers coordinate closely with processing plants to avoid delays. If fish are held too long in crowded tanks, oxygen drops and mortality rises. To solve this, many large farms now use real-time digital scheduling systems, syncing harvest with transport and factory capacity. In Guangdong, some farms even track oxygen levels inside transport trucks through sensors connected to mobile apps. Ensuring fish arrive at plants alive and in premium condition, it's a striking reminder. Harvesting tilapia today is less about fishing and more about logistics engineering on a massive scale. And once the fish reach the factory, the transformation from livestock to fillets begins. A process that blends speed, precision, and food safety at the highest level. Number five, inside the processing giants, from live fish to global market. Once harvested, 
Tilapia doesn't head straight to your plate. It first enters the world of giant processing plants, facilities designed to handle tens of thousands of fish each day with precision that rivals any high-tech factory. The journey begins with holding tanks where live fish are stabilized in cool, oxygen-rich water. From there, they move to stunning and bleeding stations, ensuring both humane handling and meat quality. In China's largest facilities, automated lines can process up to 5,000 fish per hour, scaling, gutting, and filleting with astonishing speed. Advanced inspection follows. X-ray scanners detect tiny bones that the human eye might miss, while trained workers double-check each fillet for imperfections. The goal is consistency, fillets of uniform size and weight ready for packaging. Some plants even use blockchain traceability, tagging each batch from farm to freezer so buyers in the US or Europe know exactly where their fish came from. The final step is preservation. Fillets are either vacuum-packed fresh or individually quick frozen. IQF at 40 DGF, locking in flavor and texture. Within hours, boxes are palletized, containerized, and shipped across continents. What's striking is the scale. China now supplies nearly 70% of the world's tilapia exports, with markets spanning from grilled fish tacos in California to steamed whole tilapia in Lagos. This isn't just food processing, it's a global supply chain in motion, where biology, engineering, and logistics converge to feed millions. And behind every box of frozen fillets lies the silent work of thousands of workers and machines shaping the world's seafood economy. Number 6. Beyond the Factory, Global Impact, Risks, and Future. Tilapia's journey doesn't end at the factory gates. Its true impact is felt on a global scale. Every year, this fish fuels a market worth more than $10 billion, providing affordable protein to millions of families from Asia to Africa, from Latin America to the United States, for many rural communities in China and beyond. Tilapia farming is more than a job. It's a lifeline that supports education, healthcare, and new opportunities. Tilapia also points toward the future of aquaculture. Unlike carnivorous species that require huge amounts of fish meal, tilapia thrive on plant-based diets, making them one of the most environmentally friendly farmed fish. With innovations in AI-driven farms and eco-certified production, it's possible to scale responsibly while feeding a growing global population. The lesson here is clear. Modern food isn't just about production speed, it's about building systems that are resilient, transparent, and fair. From farmers to consumers. Which part of Tilapia's journey surprised you the most? The AI farms? The massive harvesters? or the global processing giants. Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the hidden industries that shape our world.